Hi everybody, my name is Madison Williams. I am the social media and studio culture manager. I am also the education outreach coordinator of the Music Makers located in Nazareth, PA. We are a local voice of piano studio and I am super excited to read you the story Frog and Toad Together, specifically the cookie story. A little bit more about me is that I am very passionate about educational theater and my dream is to open up a children's theater company one day and make theater accessible to all children, no matter their shape, size. I would love, my dream would to be is to open a theater company for young children to thrive and grow. But let's get started. I'm super excited to read this because a very, very, very long time ago, I performed some of these stories in a musical. So super exciting, but we're going to get started. And the story we are going to read today is called Cookies! Because who doesn't love a good cookie? Here we go. Toad baked some cookies. Those cookies smell very good, said Toad. He ate one. And they taste even better, he said. Toad ran to Frog's house. Frog! Frog! cried Toad. Taste these cookies I have made. Think these cookies taste good? We're gonna find out. Frog ate one of the cookies. These are the best cookies I have ever eaten, said Frog. Frog and Toad ate many cookies, one after another. You know, Toad, said Frog with his mouth full, I think we should stop eating. We will soon be sick. You are right, said Toad. Let us eat one last cookie and then we will stop. Frog and Toad ate one last cookie. There were many cookies left in the bowl. Oh boy, are they going to eat more cookies? Frog, said Toad, let us eat one very last cookie and then we will stop. Frog and Toad ate one very last cookie. We must stop eating, cried Toad. As he ate another, yes, said Frog, reaching for a cookie. We need willpower. What is willpower? asked Toad. Willpower is trying hard not to do something that you really want to do, said Frog. You mean like trying not to eat all of these cookies? asked Toad. Right, said Frog. Frog put the cookies in a box. There, he said. Now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can open the box, said Toad. This is true, said Frog. Frog tied some string around the box. There, he said, now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog got a ladder. He put the box up on a high shelf. There, said Frog, now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can climb the ladder and take the box down from the shelf and cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog climbed the ladder and took the box down from the shelf. He cut the string and opened the box. Frog took the box outside. He shouted in a loud voice, Hey, birds, here are cookies. Birds came from everywhere. They picked up all the cookies in their beaks and flew away. Now we have no more cookies to eat, said Toad, sadly. Not even one. Yes, said Frog, but we have lots and lots of willpower. You may keep it all, Frog, said Toad. I am going home now to bake a cake. And that is the end of cookies. Next up, we are going to do a really, really fun craft. Thank you for joining us. And now on to the cookies. Here we are, and we are ready to make our cookies for today. Some of the materials that you will need for this activity are some crayons, if you don't have crayons, a pencil, color pencils, mar markers work just fine, some tape, a pair of scissors, a popsicle stick, and some construction paper. And just to let you know, for each cookie, you can make your cookie any color, any type that you want. So the first thing that you're gonna do 
is you're just going to draw a circle because cookies are round and circular. So we're going to draw our cookie. And it doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but a nice big round circle like this. And then afterwards, you're going to take your pair of scissors and you're going to cut the cookie out. Make sure to take your time cutting your cookie out because you want your cookie to be round as possible. And if you need help cutting your cookie out, make sure to ask mom or dad or one of your siblings to help you. Way done with our cookie. So now the next part is you get to add some pizzazz or detail to your cookie. So for example my favorite type of cookie is chocolate chip cookies. So I'm gonna add some detail to my brown cookie and I'm gonna add some chocolate chips to it. So I'm gonna color in some chocolate chips and now, just to let you know, it doesn't have to just be a chocolate chip cookie. It could be a sugar cookie. It could be a mint chocolate chip cookie. It could be a peanut butter cookie. The possibilities are endless. After you're done adding your details and your pizzazz, you are going to take your popsicle stick and you're going to take your cookie and you're going to lie them, lie them down and you're going to take a piece of tape and you are going to take the popsicle stick and the cookie together. And I suggest taping, I suggest giving it three pieces of tape so that your cookie sticks on. And then afterwards, you have your own cookie. And you could be just like Frog and Toad, baking and eating some delicious cookies. Thank you for tuning in to our craft activity.